Here in the heartland, this is the working man. These are the fields of dreams of America. No, you can't take that away. Cause I want to stay here in the heartland. Walter Cunningham was born in Creston, Iowa, and went on to pilot the Apollo 7 mission in 1968 that brought the first televised transmission from space. And years later, Iowa native Peggy Whitson would become a record-breaking astronaut from Iowa. Starting with NASA in 1989, Peggy spent the early 90s working on research for NASA. Then in 1996, she was selected as an astronaut candidate. She'd be part of Expedition 5, Expedition 16, and Expedition 5051. Her work was instrumental in developing the space station and conducting hundreds of experiments. She would retire in 2018, having completed 10 spacewalks in her career, and spending more time in space than any American or any woman worldwide, with a record of 665 days in space, while also becoming the first non-military and woman to serve as Chief Astronaut for NASA. Her career is remarkable, and her journey to NASA is truly inspirational. Peggy was born in Ringgold County and raised on a farm outside of Beaconsfield, Iowa. The 2010 census listed Beaconsfield, Iowa with a population of 15 people. Yet in 1930, Charles Hyde and David Vredenberg would start a general store there, and today we know that general store as hy V. Peggy Whitson would also come out of this town and soar to new heights. She was nine years old in 1969 when she watched Neil Armstrong walk on the moon, and she knew then that she wanted to become an astronaut. She would raise and sell chickens to save money to take pilot lessons, excel in the classroom and on the basketball court at Mount Air High School, where she would graduate from in 1978. That same year, NASA accepted its first female astronaut, and now Peggy had a visual of what could be accomplished. She'd go on to Iowa Wesleyan and then receive her PhD from Rice University. It would take her 10 years of applying to become an astronaut before she was selected and launched her record-breaking career in space. Her Iowa work ethic, fostered on a farm outside of Beaconsfield, Iowa and Mount Air High School, established a foundation of grit that empowered her to not only become one of the most successful astronauts, but also a hero and role model to all those kids that dream of reaching the stars. The competition started when I came home from Lamoni and I saw these nine teams and I literally contacted one of the coaches, which would be Melba Merkin, who coached 30 years at Southeast Polk. And I says, what is this all about? And she says, well, there's this competition. And I says, okay, here we go. So her and I, we got together and we started forming a competition at the high school level. We did all the mailings by hand. Everything was by scheduling by pencil, everything from the very beginning. And the more people we contacted, the more involvement. However, I think a lot of the involvement came when Mr. Cooley was so big on pageantry at the girls' state basketball tournament. Well, he was searching these people out, these halftime groups. Well, then of course, then we made this connection we connected the dots and I said, okay, those are the teams we need. So we kept adding to our mailing list. And the mailing list is quite huge today. <laughs> and I, I probably get a phone call at least once a month, if not twice, from an administrator or a parent saying, how can we start a dance team in our school? Because they've seen the coverage either of our championship show on Iowa Public Television or they've seen the halftime of the all-state group at girls' tournaments. So it's our publicity now has made us grow.
Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Why Iowa. And please like and subscribe below. And if you have any stories that you think we should tell, please add to the comments so we can continue to say, Why Iowa? Why not?